Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create this object here that students are going to receive as a 3D print. So what I'd we'll like you to do first is make sure you have Creo open and go up to File and then New. And we're just going to call this part Tier 2. Make sure you're on the part option here, and then we're going to hit OK, and it's going to open up our new part. Now I'm going to move my old part to the other screen for reference, um, but we're going to focus on this part. I may have to jump over um, to grab some dimensions here and there. So the first part is this whole thing fits inside of a one-inch cube. Now when we're creating a solid, um, keep in mind this tutorial is for um, an exploratory class that has never run this program before. Uh, we're creating a solid. We're going to choose from one of these two feature modes right off the bat. Um, if our part is square, we're going to pick extrude. If it's a round part that centers around an axis, we're going to pick revolve. We're going to go extrude this time. And then what we're going to do is make sure up here that we turn on all of our items by picking select all if they're not already on. And then if I'm not already there, I'm going to click on this pull down here and go to standard orientation. All right, so now I can create my sketch a few different ways. The simplest way is just go up to placement and then define. And for our sketch, we're going to create it on the front plane. All right, so there's a couple ways I can pick it. This is my front plane here. But I can go over to this model tree on my left and I can click on front and then go ahead and make sure both of these say right, which they do, and then I'm going to hit sketch. Now if your part doesn't automatically rotate and it stays in that previous orientation, what you're going to do is go up here and hit sketch view. That's going to rotate your part um, to face right at it like this. Now let's create that square center section. So we'll hit the arrow here. We'll pick center rectangle. We'll hover to on the center of our um, 3D space. We're going to click and move up and to the right. And there's a couple ways I can do this. If I go up long enough, I'll get that little perpendicular symbol, um, which will make all my sides equal. Um, just for the interest of having all our dimensions, let's make this thing really rectangular to make sure we get both of those dimensions. So let's click. And then after we click, we can go up and hit this white arrow, and it'll switch us back to this. I also could have middle clicked, but I'm trying to keep this simple where we're finding one simple place. So now let's change these. Let's make this one one. So let's double click on the number, type one, hit enter. Double click on the other no number, one, hit enter. And then hit this little refit. Zoom us right in with sound effects. And then we'll go up and hit the checkbox to say OK. And now if I click my middle mouse button and hold it down, I can rotate and see that I have a 3D object. Yours may be a lot bigger than this at the moment. Um, but I can wheel up, wheel down to zoom out. We want this thing to be one inch. So we're going to change our depth to one and hit enter, or I could have double clicked it here, type one and hit enter. All right, and then you can also see that it's extruding off of our datum planes. We want it right in the center. So rather than doing a blind extrude up here, we're going to pick the middle one, which is symmetric, it extrudes on both sides, <coughs> which will center it. And then I'm going to hit my checkbox. That's important later on because it's going to make it really easy to put the ball in the middle. All right, so now I'll go up here, it's standard orientation. And now we need to make some cuts. Okay, so click somewhere in the white space to make sure you don't have something highlighted. All right, and click on extrude again. Now we're going to cut out our hole. So let's, instead of going up here and hitting placement this time, let's go right to our front datum plane here and just pick it. You have to be on the edge to select it, so let's pick it. That'll rotate our part. Remember, if you need to rotate, just click this button here. Now we're going to go back up, pick center rectangle again, right, with that little arrow. I'm going to click, and I'm going to go up, create something sort of like this. Okay, now instead of hitting the white arrow, just 
middle click once. Click your mouse wheel like down like it's a button just once. All right, so now we have some dimensions. All right, and if you want to be able to see those better, you can go up here, hit display style, go to no hidden, and you'll be able to see things a little bit better. Or if you like it shaded, you can leave it shaded. All right, but what we're going to do is we're going to make a cutout here um, that basically is three quarters of an inch. So let's change this to 0 0.75. Let's change this to 0 0.75. All right, now I can hit OK. I can rotate my part, and it's going to say, well, hold on, it's inside of the PC. You must want to cut. That's what this button does. It makes it a cut. So make sure that button's turned on. And then let's hit this arrow and go the middle one here, extrude all. And you'll see it cuts away half because we created it in the middle of the box. So we need to go up to options, pick side two, and go through all in that direction as well. And now we have a cutout that goes all the way through. Now I can hit the checkbox. Now I'm going to do the same in the other direction. Okay, and there's certainly other ways I could have done this, um, but I'm trying to keep this simple um, where we learn how to create this um, object while learning how to use the program as well. So let's go extrude again. This time, let's select that right plane. Okay, and it should rotate us to look at it like this again. Remember, you can hit this button if it doesn't. If for some reason yours ended up sort of upside down or spinning in a weird way, you can hit sketch setup. And then in this box, I want it to say top, so I could actually click that box and click top. And then I switch my orientation to top. If it's on the wrong side, here's what happens. If I have it on bottom, now it's upside down. All right, for this part, it's not going to be that important. Um, but it's important to realize for the remainder of parts we're going to create. So now we can hit sketch, center rectangle again. I'm going to do the same thing we just did. So I'm going to draw this up. And actually what I can do now is if I can find where my other line is right there, okay, from that inside object. See, I have that cut that goes through. I can actually go just like this, get that perpendicular marker. And if I click, I won't even need any dimensions for this one. But if you want to put dimensions in, here's what you're going to do. You can either go to that line or I'll do it if you can't get it to that line. So we'll make a rectangle again. All right, hit my white arrow. 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Then we'll hit OK. We'll make it a cut. We'll go through all again. And then we'll also go through all in the other direction. OK. All right, so now we've used an extrude to make a solid. We've also used it to make a cut. Now, rotate back to your standard orientation by hitting this little pull down here. Now let's create a hole. Okay, we're going to put a hole that goes all the way through. So we'll create a hole right up here. And for a hole, you need to first pick the surface that you want to drill into. So I want to put my drill on this top surface, so I'm going to hover over it so it highlights in red or orange. I'm going to click. There's my hole. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these little handles. Okay, because this is going to tell me where am I measuring from before I start drilling. So I'm going to grab this handle. I'm going to drag one to this one that goes across this way. And I'm going to drag one to this one that goes across this way. Okay, to say I want to measure to the two center planes of my part. Now let's go up here and make this the right size. So this is going to be a 0.75 diameter. It's going to go through everything. Okay. And then I need to line it with the center. So here's what I do. Go to placement. Right now it says offset. I'm going to switch that to a line and a line. And you can see it'll center it just like that. And now I can hit OK. And I have my cut that goes all the way through. All right. Now I need to create my circle in the middle. Okay, so we've created a hole, we've created an extrude. Now I'm going to create a revolve. It circles around the thing, my sphere, if you will. So I pick revolve, and we'll do it the way we did before. Placement, define. We'll pick the front, and then we'll hit sketch. All right, now I'm going to first, because it's a revolve, I need a center line. So I'm going to pick center line. I'm going to say my center of my part goes right down the middle here. 
Okay. Then what I'm going to do is pick my circle. I'm going to start it from the middle. Just draw it out like that. Okay. Pick my white arrow again. Now this circle is going to be 0.75. Or actually, let me double check that. I think it might even be 1. Yes, it is. It's 1 in diameter. I apologize. So we're going to make that 1. I'm going to take a line. And I'm going to make that line go from the top right down to the bottom. I'm going to click. Okay. Then I'm going to go up and hit delete segment. And I'm going to get rid of this part of the circle and this part of the circle. And then go and hit my white arrow again. Now I should have just half of a circle, which is going to spin around and make a solid. So I can hit OK. Now if I rotate my part, there's my sphere. Okay. Just to show you what's happening, if I only had it go 180 degrees, there's my little section right there. And it's cutting around 180 to make a solid. 270. Let's see. A little cut out there. There's my section. All right, but because it's 360, it creates a nice solid like that. So I can go back to my standard orientation. That looks good. So I can hit OK. All right, and there's my sphere in the center. All right. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this so that the edges of this aren't so sharp. We're going to make it a little more comfortable to hold in our hand because it is a fidget toy. All right, so the first thing we can do <coughs> Because we can add in some chamfers to break the edges. All right, chamfers right up here. All right, and then for our chamfer size, we're going to change it to 0 0.025, 25 thousandths. Now it's very important, hold control, okay, when you click your edges. But here are the edges we're going to pick. We're going to hold control, pick every corner. Let go of control, rotate around, hold control again, click. All right, then the other ones we're going to pick are all these edges along here. So we're going to go hold control, click, 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 click. All right, you can see all those edges that are forming. Then I'm going to do the same. Oop, I missed one. I'm going to do the same down here. And if you accidentally click something, just hold control, unselect it. Okay. And that those are the, where we're going to put our chambers. We're going to end up making these broken corners on every corner of this object. So now I can hit OK. And there's my chamfers now. Okay. Let's see the little slanted edges be a little more comfortable in my hand. Now let's put some rounds in. Okay, so let's go round 0.025 works again. And I'll show you a little shortcut first. So we're gonna first select all these little corners of each of our squares. So hold control. Make sure to hold control. If you don't hold control, by the way, here's what happens. I have a set. All the, the size of that set is right here. If I don't hold control, it creates a second set that has a second set of sizes. Okay, so if I change this one to be 0.05, you can see the other one's still small. All right, so don't do that. Make sure to hold control. Okay, and then I'm going to pick that corner, that corner, that corner. And that one, and I'm going to do this in every one of the squares. It's going to take a little bit of time. You can see I can pick it through the object if I want. I'm going to round all these corners. This is going to save me a lot of time in the long run. So make sure you get all those corners rounded. Just checking to see that I got all of mine. Looks like I did. All right, so I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to go back and put another round in. Now, if I pick this edge, because that corner is rounded, it's going to go all the way around, just like that. OK? So I can do the same on all the other ones. Just like that. And then in addition, I also rounded the edges of this hole. So we'll pick that edge. We'll pick that edge. We'll go down to the bottom. We'll pick that one. Hold control, pick that one as well. So we'll round all that. So then we'll hit OK. Go to our standard orientation. And now if I turn off my datum plane, so if I pick this, turn off my datums, you can see I have this little object here that after I print it out, I can hold on to and spin around like this if I want to, or I could just spin the ball itself. 
Okay.